Welcome to Maths with EJD. From the last video, I started dealing with a, a optimization that is connected with uh, network theory. And today I'm doing something close to that too. And um, here we're talking about minimum spanning tree. And of course, we'll have an overview of that and then look at different the two types of algorithms that we can use for minimum spanning tree. Um, you know, I'm tempted to be sucked into the whole network theory thing because there are many more things like the travel salesman problem. But I think I should rather just um, maybe look forward to making uh, a series on network theory. So I'm just going to do minimum spanning tree and then continue with other topics in linear programming. And maybe in the future, think about network theory. So here, let's talk about minimum spanning tree. So the question now is that what is minimum spanning tree? What is that about? Of course, and uh, you can already see that it fits into the agenda of linear programming or at least optimization because um, optimization is about getting minimum or maximum value depending on whatever you are interested in in doing. So a minimum spanning tree, minimum spanning tree, MST for short, of a graph. So you can see it's about graph theory. Uh, a minimum spanning tree of a graph is a subset of edges, a subset of edges that connects all the vertices in the graph without any cycles without any cycle so no closed loops that's what that means and with the and with the minimum minimum possible total edge total edge weight right so this is useful this is useful in network design this is useful in network design problems such as minimizing the cost of laying the cost of laying out tables between cities or the cost of connecting cities with road networks okay so you can already see the idea of minimization right there minimizing the costs of laying out cables between cities or even the cost of connecting cities with road networks so it's still in line so let's look uh okay i think i, I want to men mention uh The fact that minimum spanning tree, or let me just say MST, minimum spanning tree um, can be computed, can be computed using either using, okay, let me just say, algorithms using algorithms using algorithms like 
the Prims Prims algorithm. Cruz Carl's algorithm. ETC. So in this video, our focus is going to be on the Prims algorithm. So in the next video, I'll talk about the Chris Carl's algorithm and that'll be that. So let's look at the let's look at the Prims algorithm. Prims algorithm. Okay, Prim's algorithm builds the minimum spanning tree incrementally, incrementally, starting, starting with an arbitrary vertex, starting with an arbitrary vertex, so it bears a bit of resemblance with the shortest rod problem. So starting with an arbitrary vertex and adding edges and adding edges that connect, that connect a vertex in the MST to one outside of it, to one outside of it okay so the edge added the edge added is always the one with the smallest weight the one with the smallest weight you know we want to minimize cost so it's always the one with the smallest weight Number it's it is the smallest weight that doesn't form a cycle. You know, you don't want to get trapped in a loop. So uh it is the one with the smallest weight that doesn't form a cycle. So if it is going to form a cycle, you may have to trade that cost for it as far as the cycle is not formed. Okay, so let's talk about steps. Steps to apply, steps to apply. Prim's algorithm. So the first step is to start, start with, start with an arbitrary vertex, start with an arbitrary vertex. So if you are talking about cities, maybe you can just choose maybe city A or, B, or anyone for that matter. Okay. And the next thing is you add the smallest edge, add the smallest edge that connects a vertex in the minimum spanning tree to a vertex, to a vertex outside of it. That's step two. And then step three is just to repeat. So you repeat step two, repeat step two until all vertices, until all vertices are connected. Okay, so let's take an example. Let's take an example. We have an example that involves internet connectivity. So let's see what that looks like. Um, internet connectivity. Trying to get the question out.
Okay. An ISP, an internet service provider, needs to connect, needs to connect several cities, several cities. An ISP is actually an internet service provider, right? An ISP is an internet service provider. So an internet service provider needs to connect several cities at the minimum cost. At the minimum cost. And cities, of course, cities are vertices. Cities are vertices. And the cable costs and the cable costs between them are the edge weights. They are the edge weights. Okay. Given given the cities, given the cities and their cable costs in the table below. Find the minimum spanning tree and the attached costs. Okay, so here we have we have city pair, that is the connection from city to city, that's all we mean by city pair. And then we have the cable costs. We have the cable costs. So here, so from city A to B, we have the cost is $4. From city A to C, the cost is $2. Then from city B to C, the cost is $5. From city B to D, City B to D, the cost is ten dollars from city C to D, the cost is three dollars. Then from city C to E, the cost is eight dollars, and finally we have city D to E, and the cost is seven dollars. Okay. Uh, so uh, I, the idea is to f to find the minimum sp spanning tree and then we find the attached cost using the Prim's algorithm, okay? So let's talk about the solution. I can just say the Prim's algorithm, the Prim's algorithm is best used when, when we have the when we represent when we represent the network diagrammatically the network diagrammatically diagram magically okay so what that simply tells us is this we have city a from city a to b the cost is four dollars so if we have city a here and then we have city b the connection between them is uh, the cost of the cable between them is four dollars then from city a to c two dollars so city a to c we have $2, and then we have city B to C, $5. So it means from here to here, we have $5. Next, we have city B to D to be $10. So 
So we have B to D. This is ten dollars. Then we have C to D is three dollars. So this C to D is three dollars. What else? We have C to E to be eight dollars. So there's an E, right? So C to E, we have eight dollars. Then there is also D to E, which is seven dollars. So D to E is seven dollars. So you see, we have this kind of connection. So from the Prim's algorithm, right? What does it tell us? It says start with an arbitrary vertex. So uh, I'm going to shade the starting vertex. So let A be our arbitrary vertex, right? So this is our starting point, starting point. Okay. Or say starting vertex, better starting vertex, right? So what we are going to do is follow the rule. Uh, the, so we have we have chosen an arbitrary vertex. So the next thing is add smallest edge that connects a vertex in the minimum spanning tree to a vertex outside of it. Okay. So from that point now, you can see we have two options. We can go from A to B. That's four dollars. And then we can also go from uh, A to C, which is $2. But according to the Prim's algorithm, we are supposed to take this the, the one that is less expensive. And that's automatically uh, the $2 pathway. So in that case, we just go this way. So we go from A to C. That's $2. So we go A to C. So from A to C, now, the next thing you're going to do is from every vertex that has been reached. So, you know, C has been reached like this now. A and, A and C have been reached so far. So from those two vertices that have been reached, then look at any other place you can go to from any of, from either A or C that is cheap. So for instance, you can go from A to B, you know, you can go from you can go from A to B. That's four dollars. You can go from from C. You can go from C to B. That's five dollars. You can go from C to D. That's three dollars. And you can even go from C to E, which is eight dollars. But now you see that the cheapest of all these four options will just be uh, C to D, which costs three dollars. Okay, so then you can go from C to D, okay? So you go from C to D. And of course, you also want to note the order, right? So you have A to C, now to D. Or better still, um, uh, okay, yeah, let's just, it's, of course, the arrow, okay, I think, I shouldn't use arrow per se because uh, it doesn't always have to follow the order. Let me just use a connection, not necessarily an arrow. So we have A to C to D. So now the next thing you want to do is check everywhere you have reached already. You know, the second step, of course, says that you should add the smallest edge that can, that cannot, that connects a vertex in the minimum spanning tree to a vertex outside it. So in the vertex, in the minimum spanning tree right now, we have A, C, and D. So you want to check the possible places you can reach from each of these. So you can reach from A to C. You can reach from uh, B is not in the is not in the MS is not in the minimum spanning tree for now. But you can reach from C to B. You can reach from D to B. Okay. You can reach from C to E, and then you can also reach from D to E. Those are places you can reach from the from the things you already have. But again, the choice will be the smallest of all these options. And again, the smallest now is $4, okay? So you have, so it, it means that you have to move from A to B. Okay, you move from A to B. So that's, that means we go in this direction. That's A to B. Um, so here you update this, now it's B. So you can see I'm not, I'm not using the arrow because um, it's, really uh is this even the best way to represent this i think the best way to do this is to list out 
I think it's better to do it like in a kind of tab tabular format. Uh, so we say, um, so for the MST, right? We have, um, how do we, okay, let me, let me say MSTPS, maybe that's the best way, MSTPS. And then we have the cost. I think that's better. Uh, that will give us a better way to handle that. You know, and the deal is that as once all the edges are connected, then we are good to go. I mean, once all the, yeah, all the vertices, not all the edges. Once we have all the uh, uh, vertices in a minimum spanning tree, then we are good. So what we are supposed to do, the first thing is we have, okay, I guess I want to change this. Don't mind my perfectionistic tendencies. So let me just go. We have MST pairs, okay, MST pairs, and we have the cost, okay? So we have, the first one is AC, which costs $2. And after AC, we went uh, CD, which is $3, okay? Um, then afterwards we went, okay, now we are going AB. We're going A, B. So this is what we have. A, B now. Now A, B is $4. A, B is... A, B is $4. Like that. Then, again, you look at all the possibilities you have. For, so now, um, A, B, C, D are part of the minimum... Uh, the minimum spanning tree. And then from all these points that have been reached in now, so look at, the, okay, I mean, we can't go from B to D. For instance, if you go from B to D, you're going to have a cycle and that, we don't want that. So going from B to D uh, is will be wrong because it is going to lead to a circle. Then going from B to C or C to B also is going to form a cycle, meaning that you are going to be in a loop, you know, so we don't want that happening. So we don't. We are, so this is also not required. Then, of course, go. You can go from C to E because that's not leading to a circle. That's a possibility. We can go from D to E or E to D, whatever you want. Uh, so let's say D to E. So we can go from D to E because it won't also form a cycle. But so for the, we have four possible pathways. Two are going to lead to cycles. That's B to C and B to D are going to lead to cycles. But C to E and D to E are not going to lead to cycles. So you have to pick the smaller of those that will not lead to cycles. And that, that's automatically going to be this, the one with $7. That's D to E. Okay? So we have to settle for D to E. Right? So we have this now. D to E. Okay? So finally, so with this now, we have all the cities connected. Okay, we have all the cities connected in such a way that we, are, we can guarantee that we have we are going to spend the minimum cost. So finally, you have D to E, which is $7. D to E, that is $7. Okay, so um, it's an opportunity also to talk about, to get the total cost. Okay, we have total cost. So you just add up all these things. Two plus three is... 5, 5 plus 4 is 9, 9 plus 7 is 16. So the total cost is $16, okay? So that means that uh, using the Prim's algorithm, that is your minimum spanning tree. Uh, the minimum spanning tree involves uh, going from A to C, going from C to D, A to B, D to E. That's one way we can guarantee that there is no... Uh, there is no... Uh, loop there's no cycle and then at the same time we have the cheapest costs possible so to conclude that right we can just say um the edges the edges the edges selected the edges selected are are ac ac accd a C C D A B A B and D E and D E so which give which give 
the total cost, the total cable cost of $16. So you're going to spend $16 in that case. All right, so we've come to the end of that. Um, it's a, I mean, this is relatively simple compared to what we've been going through. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, be sure to do that right away. Hit the notification bell also so you can only get alerted each time a new video is released. And of course, comment. Let me know if you want me to teach a topic or solve a problem and like and share so that more people can have access to this great content. Till I come your way again, keep optimizing. Bye.